So, if you are watching this video, it probably means you've seen the end of 2017. I just wanted to say congratulations. I feel like 2017 literally just flew by. I feel like it was like last week I was doing my first video for 2017. So first of all, Happy New Year, welcome to 2017. And all of a sudden we're at the end here. So I want to say congratu congratulations to you. This video is going to be about my top 5 movies of 2017. These are movies that I saw in cinema based on my opinion. Okay, and could, could contain some spoilers. So let's go. Number 5 So, the number 5 movie has to be The Bridge Yeah, by Kuli Apollon. Um, Considering that his first 3 movies were a bit uh, Yeah, The Bridge kind of like gave us a breath of fresh air with Kuli Apollon and his movies This time the story of course we know about um, two different two people from two different ethnic backgrounds wanted to get married that old familiar story But what I loved about this movie was the direction that he took it most of the actors here are on point for me Looks good feels good, and I felt it was a good comeback from the other three movies he had made earlier in the year Number four. Yes, it's a chick flick. Yes, it has that familiar love triangle Yes, it was predictable as hell, but I had fun watching Isoke. Yes, for the fact that even though, like I said, it had that predictable, okay, don't marry this guy, I don't want you to marry that one. The fact that it had a white boy in the mix, I think it gave us something that, at least for me, it gave me something I had not seen before. I had fun with it, and of course, when you have an actress like Tina and by your ranks, it is a bonus. I, feel, I just feel like this woman has been incredible in 2017, in my own opinion. And that's why, yes, Isoke will definitely be on this list. Number three. Now, this next movie, it was a big fight between this movie and the number two movie, to be honest. And I cannot believe I did not make a video for this movie, but Picture Perfect was a good movie for me. Uh, people don't realize that this movie had just three primary characters. Yes, and I love the way the writers manage these three people, these three characters. It was really good. I, people say, oh, sometimes it, it, it exaggerated a bit. I don't think so. I think it's really possible for an Aburu to get in touch or to, to be involved with a lady of seemingly higher standards. It, it was very realistic for me. Very believable. Bimbo Nina Luwo, I hope I got that right. For me, I feel this guy, I felt this guy carried this movie on his back. It was great, it was really good. Until the second movie on this list came out, it was there for me. And like I said, I, I cannot believe I did not make a video for this movie, but it was great all the same. Number two. Now for the number two. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna say the women. For me, the reason why the women beat Picture Perfect is in the sense that the issues touched upon at the end of the day were really, really serious. I think um, the characters, again for me, Ufama McDermott did one of her best performances ever. I thought she was on point in this movie. She was kicking ass in this movie. It, the writing is very clever. The characters are very believable. The situation that they find ourselves that they found themselves, oh my lord, it was, it was amazing. And in the third act, when things start to happen, you cannot get off your seat. I know I'm watching the record about this movie, but it was that good for me. Like uh, I said in my video, it wasn't about whether the picture quality or the sound quality. The movie was that good that you don't really think about these things. I, it's just in my opinion. You might be like, mm, but I like the movie. It was that good. Number one. Drum roll, please. Now, to be honest, people have said a number of things about this movie. They didn't like it. They hated it. This guy is boring. Blah, blah, blah. But Oju Kokoro really gave me a very, very enjoyable time. From the beginning to the end, the story is very good. Yes, a little bit exaggerated, but the story was... It's, it's a way from all the slapstick comedy, all the, oh, we must do this. Even though it had traces of that in the movie, slapstick uh, comedy, humor and all that, but it was at the right amount. 
the, the characters are very, very... Sean Farquhar has given me one of my most memorable characters in Nollywood when he played, played Rambo in that movie. The dialogue is great. Um, I, people, you know, I just cannot say enough about the movie because of time. But it, I had a fun time. The way it ended as well, it, you, it's not trying to do too much. I think Dario Lighton, who um, directed this movie, I think this guy needs a lot of support. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's just one movie, yes, that he has directed uh, or that I have seen of him. But I feel like if I, was, if I had that Jerry Brockheimer money, I'll probably give this guy so he can go and do some, something bigger, much better than what we've seen. So, I don't know. What are your thoughts? If you have... If you think there are more movies or there are other movies that could have been on this list, please comment below, let us know. Like I said, it is my thoughts and my thoughts only. Please look out for my worst videos of, of worst movies of 2017. <laughs> Whatever you do, please stay blessed and do something good for a neighbor today. Peace.